Hi, my name's Alain Kidd and I'm a professional wrestler from the UK. But today, feel free to call me Wade because I'm taking my mask off and putting my thinking cap on as I dive into the theory of wrestling. Priscilla and the team at The Theory of Wrestling have asked me to give my advice on how to market yourself as a professional wrestler. So my, for my first video, I've decided to cover my top five tips on producing professional promo pictures. Tip number one, equipment and setting. Now, this might not be the first thing that comes to mind, but having a professional camera person with professional equipment, including camera, lighting, and backdrop is absolutely essential. Sorry, shooting on your camera phone in front of your plainish wallpaper isn't gonna cut it. Your pictures need to be high resolution, well lit, and in front of a plain, white backdrop. All this is essential to make it as easy as possible for the promoter to take your image and insert it into their marketing material. Tip number two, attire and accessories. Make sure all your gear is washed and in good condition. Having two-year-old tights with faded colours and half your name peeling off the side probably isn't going to leave the best impression. Ideally, try to schedule your photo shoot for when your gear is brand new and before it's even been worn in a match. Additional accessories, for example entrance jackets or any other prop your character might have can be good to help you stand out, but be sure to always get pictures done both with and without these additions. Same goes for if you're part of a tag team or have a manager, always get pictures both separately and together. Tip number three, your schedule leading into the photo shoot in regards to your physical appearance. Now I thought of giving my own schedule, yours could be different depending on your look and your character, but here's what works for me to give you some ideas. Around two weeks before, I'll lower my calorie intake just to help myself look a little bit extra trim. Uh, about a week before to a few days before, I lower my water intake, and the day of and the day before, I lower my water intake to basically nothing, just to avoid myself looking a bit bloated. The week before, I'll get my hair cut. I know my mask covers up most of my face, but some occasionally, sometimes I'll get hair poking through my eyes, so I'll cut my hair to make sure that doesn't happen. A few days before, I'll cut my water slightly, um, and Sometimes the day before, I'll cut it down to nothing. Again, just to have myself look a tiny bit extra trim. And the night of, I make sure I get a decent amount of sleep just to avoid bags un under my eyes. Um, my ma again, my mask covers most of my face and I've had these bags under my eyes since I was about 15. So they probably aren't going anywhere, but uh, I do that just to help a little bit. Morning of, I uh, hit the gym. I hit every part of my uh, every muscle group that's gonna be showing in the photo. So for example, I wear tights, so I don't bother with my legs. Um, this is just purely, just to work out, just to give myself a bit of extra pump going into the shoot on just the muscle groups that are gonna be showing in the photos. Also, if, I, if I'm really stuck for time and I don't have time to hit the gym, I'll take some elastic gym bands with me to the photo shoot to give me a bit of extra pump on the day. And also I'll bring a toothbrush to brush my teeth because I don't want some nice photos being ruined by some uh, nasty gunk in my teeth. Tip number four, your pose. Now, there's three things to consider when deciding upon your pose. Firstly, is does that pose suit your character? Secondly, is does the pose suit the framing of the photo? Now, there's three types of framings for your photos. One's gonna be a full body, head to toe, Second one is going to be upper body, it's just below your waistband going upward. And thirdly, lastly, is the head shot, which is around your chest, shoulder, up, mostly concentrating on your face. Your pose will be very different depending on the type you're going for. Lastly, is how does your pose fit into the promoter's marketing material? 
For example, you want at least one photo that's going to be fairly straightforward where you're looking symmetrical, that's going to look good, you'd be in front and centre on a poster. You want at least another photo that's going to be a little less symmetrical, maybe you're standing to one side, maybe some kind of like offside race poses sometimes that will look good standing next to the person that is front and centre on the poster. Tip number five, your facial expression. Now, don't let that this is so far down on the list undercut its importance. Almost everything about you, from your character's look, to your gear, to your pose, it can be copied. But your face, your face is uniquely yours, and therefore, it's your most valuable asset. And this is coming from a guy that has 90% of his face covered in this mask. Make sure your facial expression suits your pose, suits your character, and most importantly, you're conveying in that one frame as much personality as possible. And there you have it. Those are my top five tips for producing professional promo pictures. My name is Wade, AKA this guy, the Lion Kid. Please subscribe for future content so you can continue to study the theory of wrestling.